Oh, what's going on YouTubers? Ladies and gentlemen, it's the Natural Born Thriller. Not going to waste any more time for this, but welcome everyone to the Impact uh, Summerversary 2021 preview. This will be Summerversary 19. 19 years of Impact Wrestling being around with Summerversary being around for 19 years. And Basically, this is a preview for the tonight's peer review uh, uh, for my time, actually, around um, 8 p.m. And, yeah, so what we're about to do right now is run through the cards. That's going to happen um, at um, Nashville, Tennessee in the Skyway Studios on the, the, the promotion of Impact Wrestling. And you guys excuse me folks, I'm a little tired. And my voice is still not um you know one hundred percent, you know, from the sore throat that I've, I've been going through um since after the uh fourth of July. But I'm gonna try going through it, I'm gonna make the best of it, and here we go. Um now I'm assuming this is gonna be uh, of what I've been hearing, this is gonna be the return of the crowds. Um but we're gonna be we're gonna uh, return the crowds pretty soon. Oh, uh, Impact Wrestling. But I'm assuming that you know, this, this is going to be a, a, a start of uh, returning crowds into the arenas for Impact Wrestling. Since, you know, the pandemic has happened. And, yeah, that's all I'm going to say from there. But, yeah, let's get let's get right into it. Everything's going to on the car, yeah, folks. I'm um, not going to waste too much time, so here we go. So I'm gonna start from the bottom all the way to the top. The one I'm gonna start from the bottom is a mixed tag team match that will feature Brian Myers and Tennille Dashwood versus Matt Cordona and a partner of his choosing to be announced. I'm just gonna say um, it's gonna be Chelsea Green. Uh, it could be no outcome then Chelsea Green, the hot mess. You know she's not gonna be called Laura Burness. She's gonna be called Chelsea Green. She's gonna buy um. Uh, her her name is the other uh, name that Impact Wrestling gave her years ago, but she still could be she's still known as, as the hot mess. Where it tends to everything that she's um did prior of leaving Impact Wrestling, where where she was um and uh, you know with, with everything that she uh um was before, and, and yeah, so yeah, she's gonna be uh team up with Matt Cardona to go up against Brian Myers and Tina Dashwood. Now, I didn't expect this to be a mixed tag team match. I, I expect this match to be a tag team match. Where it tends to uh, Jake Something and Matt Cardona versus Brian Myers and Sam Beal. But instead, they decided to go another way. Now, does this make it any better? To me, no. Uh, because Tino Dash was, um, you, know, you know, ends up being on the card. Meanwhile, Jordan Grace and Richard Ellering ends up not being on the card. How the fuck that happens? Unacceptable. So, but in the end, um, we get we get what we want, and that's the return of Chelsea Green to get, you know, revenge for Mark Card Matt Cardona against Tina Dashwood for what happened on uh, on that on that Thursday's Impact. Um, so, you know, for that go home show edition. Now, obviously, no brainer here. Uh, because Macarena is going to bring in Justin Green as um, his partner of his choosing to go up against Brian Myers and Tina Dashwood, obviously, uh, Matt Cardona and Chelsea Green will will be the winner. So, there you go. Next match we get Eddie Edwards versus W. Morrisley. Now I'm I'm looking forward to this match, even though this much in um build that much, um not not much hype um behind it either, but. I look forward to see how this match is going to be. You know, the matchup between Eddie Edwards and W. Morrisley. Now, obviously, you know, this should, this should also be a no-brainer here, too. You know, um, I know it's going to be a good match. But as long as the outcome is W. Morrisley getting the win. Eddie Edwards doesn't need a win uh, against, where it pertains to, you know, how Impact Wrestling is doing a great job with uh, w. Morsley, and on top of that, W. Morsley is doing a one hell of a job of, you know, what pertains to uh, what he's doing right now. 
not just in Impact Wrestling, but in pro wrestling in general. So, he's doing a, uh, a tremendous job now of, of you know, look, looking apart, um, looking looking great, looking um, uh, in, you know, intimidating and all, that, and all. So, so yeah, um, Matt, um, W. Morrissey, I meant to say, uh, should get the win here, and he, and he should get the win here. Uh, A. Edwards does not does not need any win here whatsoever. You know, because. Dirty Morrissey is one that's getting pushed. He's the one that's being um, you know, that he's being looked 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 at uh, right now, on uh, coming out of anniversary um on top. So. So that that's all I gotta say from that. Let's not let's not give eight words uh win a win here. Uh, let's let's get this win here to W Morrissey. No, I don't, I don't know what to say. Uh, no, you know, because if W Morrissey doesn't get a win here, then then what the fuck you got you got him there for? To drop to um you know to have him um you know dominate and then having him job to to uh Eddie Edwards at the at the end of the day you go you gonna lose uh, a lot of credibility uh with the mercy if you if you do that so hopefully by having Eddie Edwards um losing here to W Mercy um will will we'll benefit you know W Mercy at the end and on top of that with Ed, um you know uh may, maybe just maybe I'll turn my my um. My um <laughs> negative thoughts about Eddie Edwards. Now I still hate the gimmick and all, but as well but since his um his profession, you know, um I'll change a lot uh, for that. So that's all I got. that's all I'm gonna say for that. Um, then we get to Fire and Flavor. Kira Hogan and Tasha Steels defend their Impact Knockout Titan Championships against Havoc and Rosemary. Now I don't know what's gonna happen in this match. Yeah, you know, I mean, um, obviously, you know, um, I, I expect this match to be good, but as far as, as the outcome is gonna be, as far as uh, you know, it to James Mitchell's involvement, DK's involvement, maybe Sue Young's involvement, there's gonna be some kind of plan that's gonna be happening. I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's what, what plan that uh, they're trying to uh, swerve us to do on in this whole thing, but. Um, in the at the at the end of the day, um, uh, we you know it's gotta be something uh, that's gonna happen. Where it tends to uh, the Nakata team titles. So I don't know if Kyogen and Tatsuya are gonna win. To be honest with you, after um, with the their little teaser and a little hint of what they're gonna, what they're um teasing, what they got, what's gonna happen uh, at some rush when they did the common show on on Impact Wrestling. So, um, so. Unfortunately, I gotta go with Rosemary and Havoc here because, you know, I don't see Carol getting Tasha Steels, um, you know, getting the, um out of this, um, you know, uh, of San Rusty as Michael Tyson champions. So we'll see, we'll see how that turns out. But, um, again, I don't know what's gonna happen. I don't know what's gonna be the surprise. Maybe it, it's 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 gonna be something uh to look forward to. And to see how they how it plays out, so. And bye, folks. Um, I, I'm not I'm not um feeling my, little myself too because um, I just had a drink, um, at the work. So, so if you if you're wondering while I'm talking like uh uh-huh, talking um that's why, um one shot you know of Hennessy uh really, really got me drunk too by the way. So that's one thing I've got to mention. Um, and I just thought you should, yeah, y'all should know that. But yeah, uh, we'll see what happens with this. Um, you know, with the uh, like a tag title match. Speaking of uh, tag team title matches, the Impact World Tag Team Title match, uh, four way tag team match. To fire, you know, you got um, let's see. It's gonna be Joe Doring and actually I don't know, I don't know who's gonna be because you know they're, they're, they're you know we're to the tag team champions is the uh, this whole fabric free bird rules. So who knows. Well, maybe hey, maybe Eric Young is, is clear to um to compete. We'll see. Who knows? But but it's gonna be fire by, by, by the sun defending the tag titles against Rich Swan and Willie Mac versus Flaba and TJP versus uh the Good Brothers. Uh, go got Gals and Um, uh, match itself it should be good. I I think it should, it's gonna be a good match. You know, uh, despite who uh, who it might be uh from Barn by Design. Uh, but Diener, um, you know, pertains to him is it's yeah, you know, it's whatever. He he doesn't irritate me that much anymore, anyway. So, uh, do I do, do I still think he's a a good fit for a uh, design? No. 
but I'm not gonna let that get uh in the way of you know like liking what's gonna happen here. Um, so it's uh in a way it's uh, this gonna be good. As far as gonna win, obviously yo, I'm the sign are gonna retain here. I don't see them losing here, so there you go. Um, then we get to um Deion Prado defending her Impact and Knockouts Championship against. To be announced. Now it could be anyone. Now at first I was thinking about uh it could be Chelsea Green, but after um that at what happened with um with Tina Dashwood with, with Brian Myers being up on Matt Cardona on, on Impact and then with them make you know Scott Demore making an announcement for uh for Matt Cardona to um they have a partner of his choosing, you know. So uh that was, that whole thing with Chelsea Green being the uh, you know the mystery opponent is out the window. But doesn't mean that, you know, I still want this one person to uh to be the mystery opponent for Dan Prazo, which is hardcore country. Um, you know, Mickey James. Now it could be anyone else too. Now, if it's till a while, I'm gonna be disappointed because because where, where the hell she been this whole time? You know? So the fact that um they took her away off TV, you know, for that for that long, it's it's ridiculous. Cause you know, she's supposed to be doing something. Uh, you know. Cause I thought it was also going to lead to it, you know, but Dion Prosser versus uh, Taylor Wild, but it's the fact that um they haven't done any of that, and then and then um and they start, they and they decide to swerve us to say that she's the mystery opponent, that's gonna be disappointing, and I'm gonna be pissed. So I better hear hardcore country music, um, and Mickey James, she better be the um the challenger against Dion Prosser for the knockout title. That'll be something, by the way. Dion Prosser versus Mickey James, that that we all be now. Either way, it doesn't matter who is the mystery opponent. If it is Mickey James, if it is um some maybe maybe a, a, a Maria Canellis, maybe um maybe if they they talk to some um the AW uh, influence like maybe a Big Swell or sort of Deep or maybe a Dr Pepper Picker D M D, you know, just saying. <laughs> I I doubt that by the way, but I digress. Um. Whoever it could be, it doesn't matter. Dion Prosser is my pit to win. Either way, she is still my pit to win. So, and that's all I'm gonna say from there. And it's supposed to be a good match. Speaking of speaking on one, I will also expect to be a good match. Moose versus Chris Sabin. I expect it, I expect it to be a good match, and I also expect Moose to go over on Chris Sabin. So there you go. Uh, Ultimate X match for the X Division Championship. Josh Alexander, the champion, defended against P.U. Williams versus Trey Miguel versus Ace Austin versus Rohit Raju versus Chris Bay. And which is the Ultimate X match. It's going to be a great match either way. Where it tends to uh, what these guys can do. And I expect this match to, um, you know, to, be, um, to be a show stealer. If not, maybe the main event could be the show stealer. But we'll get to that when we get to it. As far as hard things gonna win, now I, I gotta go with some three picks here. Now the fir- my first pick obviously is the is the exhibition champion Josh Alexander. My secondary pick will be um Chris Bay, and my dark horse pick will be Trey Miguel. And there you go. That's all I'm going to say for that. It to the Exhibition Championship match. And I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing the match. And finally, the main event. For the Impact World Championship title in a no disqualification match. Kenny Omega with Don Cows at ringside versus Sammy Callahan. This match should be amazing. Not just because it's um you know two of the best wrestlers out there in Sammy Callahan and Kenny Omega. But because this is also no rules. Anything goes. This is Sammy on Callahan's uh, playbook here. This is all right, right out of his alley, and I cannot wait to see the match between uh, Kenny Omega and um, um, Sammy Callahan, where it, you know don't turn the turn the house down. And at the end of the day, I think it's finally time to get that belt off of Kenny Omega, you know the Impact World Title, and give it to Sammy Callahan. Now I would prefer Moose to be the one to ch- um to challenge Kenny Omega for the title at some anniversary instead of the, 
they did it too early. But what can you do? And it, and I said this before. This had this is no disrespect to Sammy Callahan, but uh, I would prefer it would it would be Moose versus Kenny Omega for the anniversary. That would be a more a more money mark markable match than uh Sammy Callahan and Kenny Omega. And I understand why they did it too because the whole thing with um Sammy Callahan and Don Callis' history, but that just that should just make me um you know want want to uh, you know to um to invest uh my my time. To watch K Omega versus Sammy Callahan, just because of Don Cows and Sammy Callahan's um past, but whatever. But yeah, but I'm gonna go with Sammy Callahan for the win here. And as far as as who might show up, I'm not gonna speculate anything. I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna even predict who are, who's gonna show up. I'm just gonna sit back, relax, and see, and and be surprised of who's gonna be short, who's gonna show up there. Cause yo, the world, um. It's gonna change. Um, I, I I forgot how they said it though. Um, our world's about to change again. It's not that I don't know. It's not, it's not. But we'll see what happens. Uh, who's gonna show up? Now I'll tell you who's not gonna show up. <laughs> Samoa Joe's not gonna show up. <laughs> um, yeah. I'm, I'm, um, that's all I'm gonna say from there. So, um, but there you go, folks. That's all I gotta say. Um, and that being said. Um, that's it for the predictions. Thank you all for watching. Or in this point, thank you for listening because you know there's never, there's never really to watch here, uh, other than this poster, you know, or things to watch on Fight TV. So there you go. But that, there you go, folks. That's all I got to say from there. We'll see what happens from there, and we'll see if if um if we do get a live crowds coming back on that on this on pay per view. Cause I, cause I could swear they said there's gonna be on um, live crowds coming back, but we'll see. But we're still gonna get a lot of we're still gonna get a lot of cross coming back to Impact Wrestling though. That's that's best that's gonna happen. This this week. I mean I mean not maybe not maybe not this week, but um may, you know, but this this month I should say. Um either this month or next month. I can't remember now, but 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 the point is we are getting crowds back, which is great because Impact Wrestling needed those crowds back. And and the last thing they need is uh, more of these uh Python crowds, <laughs> you know. Uh, for their shows on Impact Wrestling, but I digress. But that being said, folks, thank you all for watching, uh, listening, whatever. I'm out here before I start um, messing up a lot more. So, um, it's not your born thriller saying peace on the streets. I hope you all enjoy watching and paying uh, your hard earned money to watch anniversary because our world is once again about to change. So, you all take care, folks. Peace on the streets. Force Nacho Born Dealer. Stay well, stay safe, take care of your, take care of yourself early that's going warm to say. Wear your mask. And love one another. God bless one another. Live in peace and heart for us all. For this was your Impact Anniversary 2021 preview. Take care guys.